This is episode 6 of the Logisims tutorial, and today we're going to be using keyboards. Keyboards are quite a complex thing, and can be found under input and output. So if you click on the keyboard and place it, you will notice that we have a clock trigger. So this pretty pretty much a clock trigger is it. The keyboard has a buffer, so each time it's pulsed, it will remove one, it will take the one input, the first keyboard input from the left, and it will send it out from on this pin here, which is the output. So uh, we're going to need uh, a clock, and we're also going to use a, a, diff a new logic gate, which is called a controlled buffer. A controlled buffer basically works a bit like a transistor in that it tests that uh, one of the inputs, the input coming out of the side, is true. And if it is true, it will allow the input coming from the back to go through. So this is what it looks like. And you're going to be doing this for the uh, input. So this pin here is true if there's space in the, uh, in the buffer. So if there's a key in the buffer, this is going to be true, as it says. So we drag that there. This now we're going to put our clock here. There you go. So now our clock can't go through because this isn't on. But if you uh, click with the finger on the keyboard, you can press buttons, and now that's on. It will uh, it will allow that through. You can also press minus, but it's not using these because we have to press another button as well. So. Now here's clear one emp empties buffer, and when um, this uh, deletes each time, uh, this is uh, it's, it deletes the last one, the buffer. So this will also be one of them. Uh, this this is the output of what it clears through the buffer, and we're going to connect this to a TTY as we did in the last tutorial uh, uh, dumb term is one of the terminology so we're also going to connect this to the clock and if we finger it that's um, we type in, can type in G now it prints it to the screen so you can type in I like uh, chicken and it prints it to the screen. This is a nice simple setup with the keyboard that we can print it to the screen and each time we've got, what we can also do is maybe take in the input like almost like a code something we want it to do. So this is all we have for this tutorial and maybe in an, a future tutorial we'll see what we can do with our new contraptions and see if the keyboard and the TTY and all of the add add addition and subtraction tools we can try maybe try and make something that would be useful. Bye and this is it for this tutorial.